this is Science Made Simple, and I'm Dr. Boyd the Chemist. Today, we're going to make water slime. Look at my slime. Clear slime. And then we're going to eat it. Now, this is the first and the most important video about slime in a series of slime videos that I'll be posting to the channel. I say it's the most important because not only are we going to be making some wonderful edible clear water slime, but I'm also going to talk about slimes that are polymers and what exactly a polymer is. So definitely subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out all the cool slime videos that are posted. Now here's what you'll need in order to make this wonderful edible clear water slime. You'll need one cup of water. Separately, you'll need four cups of cold water. You'll also need a blender. I'm using this kind of blender. A hand bent blender probably works best, but you can try different kinds. You'll also need two bowls, one small for the one cup of water and one large for the four cups of water. You'll also need some measuring spoons, one teaspoon, as well as one quarter teaspoon measuring spoons. It's optional for today. I want my slime to be clear, but if you want your slime to have color to it, you can add food coloring. And most importantly, you will need to purchase sodium alginate and calcium lactate. Now, you can purchase them at the grocery store or you can purchase them online like I have done. There's a company called Kitchen Alchemy that sells them in a package. A couple of years ago, I posted a video to this channel in which we made simple slime. It used a common protocol that included the use of borax and school glue. I've taken that video down because the type of slime that you get out of it is typically just thrown in the trash once you're through playing with it. And preserving the environment is very important to me. So from now on, all of the slime demonstrations that are featured on this channel will result in slime that has minimal to no negative impact on the environment. Now I do like to make slime because it can be a useful activity for learning about polymers as well as other reactions. So do you know what a polymer is? Well, one definition is that a polymer is a long chain of molecules linked together in a repeating pattern. Each individual molecule is called a monomer. The prefix mono means one, while the prefix poly means many. So if you have a monomer bonded to other monomers, you have many monomers or a polymer. The slime we're making today is in fact a polymer and we'll be using water, sodium alginate, and calcium lactate to make it. Now the sodium alginate actually comes from seaweed and it is already a polymer. When we make our water slime today, the sodium ions in sodium alginate will be replaced by calcium ions from the calcium lactate in what is known as a replacement reaction. The calcium ions are what we call the crosslinker, but you might hear some people refer to the calcium ions as the activator. That term crosslinker means that the calcium is able to attach to two separate alginate chains and hold them together. Unlike the sodium, which can only attach to one alginate chain. So not only are we making some really cool slime today, but we're doing it by performing a replacement reaction. All right, let's make our water slime. As far as safety is concerned, making our water slime is safe. However, we are using liquids that can splash so it never hurts to wear some eye protection. Add one quarter teaspoon sodium alginate to your container with one cup of water and mix 
vigorously. For the best results, you'll probably want to use a hand blender. If you're using a blender at all, please be careful. We do have here electricity and water and those two do not go together well. If you are using a blender, it should only take 20 seconds to blend this up really well. If you do this by hand, it will take much longer. Also, although we're making clear slime, if you'd like, you can add some food coloring to this container. In the other container, stir in one teaspoon of calcium lactate into the four cups of cold water. Stir until the solution looks clear. Now, using a spoon or a ladle, scoop your mixture from container one, which is your sodium alginate solution, and slowly submerge it into container two, which is your calcium lactate solution. Now, slowly remove the spoon and allow the reaction to continue for about 15 minutes. All right, are we ready to see if we have clear slime? Here we go. Oh, look at that. Look at my slime. Clear slime. Oh my goodness. Look at my clear slime. Now, for the fun part. Nice. It's like, it's like eating water. You definitely have to try this experiment. You definitely are. This version of making slime right here is an absolute winner. Oh my gosh, look at my slime. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, definitely. You have to do this. You have to do this. Love it. <laughs> 